Today we're going to go over how to do a frame rate conversion using Twixter. In the NTSC world, the video runs at 30 frames per 1.001 second, or 29.97 frames per second. In the PAL world, it's 25 frames per second. The 35mm film usually runs at 24 frames per second, while Super 8 and old Nickelodeons ran at 18 frames per second. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to convert between frame rates, specifically 30 frames per second to 24 frames per second. But this technique is the same to convert between any two frame rates. In particular, we will be using footage from the new Canon 5D Mark II. We're going to do a cosmetic product photo shoot, and the client also wants videos for their store displays at HD 24p. The Canon 5D Mark II camera is perfect for the job since it captures stills and shoots HD video, but wait, it only records at 30p. This is where Twixter comes in. Let's take a look at an example of how this works. If we want to convert this 30 frames per second footage to 24 frames per second, it's easy to map frames on a one-to-one -one basis, but if we do this, we will have a speed change. If we want to maintain the same duration in both frame rates, then we can have After Effects convert the frame rate from 30 frames per second to 24p like this. I have a number on each frame, and if I create a new composition, I can go to Composition Settings and just change the output to 24p. Now, this is just using After Effects without Twixter. You can see as I advance through each frame that it has dropped frames in order to keep the same duration. Now, if I add Twixter, make the input frame rate 30 frames per second, and Twixter gets the output frame rate from the composition settings, Let's see how Twixter actually synthesized new frames so no frames are dropped. You can see here how Twixter actually synthesized new frames instead of simply dropping frames and this will give us a much smoother result. Now let's see how Twixter can easily convert the frame rate from 30 frames per second to 24 frames per second easily and with professional results. Here is the original shot. As you can see, it's 30 frames per second, and that is a limitation to this camera. We're going to drop this shot onto a new composition. Now we'll go to the composition settings and change the frame rate to 24 frames per second and leave the duration the same. Okay, let's go ahead and add Twixter. Now all we need to do is change the frame rate in the source input to 30 frames per second. Twixter gets the output frame rate of 24 frames per second from the composition settings. We can also add a bit of motion blur so it looks like it was captured at 24p. So here we go to the motion blur compensation and adjust the amount of blur we want to add. Let's go ahead and pump it up to 10 so you can really see it. We'll just leave it at 1 though. Here's our result. So here's the shot we just converted from 30 frames per second to 24 frames per second. And the total running time remains the same. We also added some motion blur to the shot. Now that is a single clip. What if we have a whole edit with multiple cuts that we need to change the frame rate on? This is how we would handle that. First, let's import an edit I did in Premiere Pro. I can just go to File, Import, and bring in an Adobe Premiere Pro project. I will select TUT005 Edit V7 and also select the option for all sequences. You can see that After Effects splits all of the layers of the edit just like this. Let's change the composition settings so the new frame rate is 24 frames per second. We can just go back to our single clip and copy Twixter since we already have the settings the way we want them. The correct frame rate on the source and the motion blur set. 
let's make sure to tap outside to deselect any of the parameters so nothing is highlighted when we select Twixter to copy it or After Effects may reset the parameter to the default settings. Now we go to the Edit menu and copy Twixter and then we can select the project for our multiple edits which is here. Now I can go up to the Edit menu again and select all and then paste. Now if we open up each layer and look at Twixter we can see that all of the settings are there. They just copied over from the single edit clip. Of course you can always go to each layer and add Twixter and manually change the settings but this is just a shortcut. Let's check out our result. So this is how to do a simple frame rate conversion from 30 frames per second to 24 frames per second using Twixter.